Welcome back, Doom fans. Lazy Gamer here. After several days of research and a massive headache later, I am here today to show you teleporters. Oh, I've done that already. Oh, well, yes, I have covered normal teleporting. But today we are covering teleporting inside a sector. And there is a difference. Here, I'll throw you the action command on screen. What, it's too close? Oh, alright, I'll pull it back a little. Too far? What do you mean? Man, you guys are demanding. Happy now? Well, this action can teleport you or anything inside a sector to a point of your choice either as a line def action or as a script. Using scripts give you much more control, but of course it will take more time and effort. I'll show you a few examples and then we'll go through it afterwards. Of course, uh, uh, teleporting in sectors is really, or fairly easy, so uh, the headache inducing part was actually trying to find examples to show why using uh, teleporting in sectors is different than using uh, normal teleporting. For instance, having uh, an item out of reach of course you can just lower the sector with the switch but it's a different way of using uh, using it to uh, like uh, having a switch in um, Um, in an area you do not really have to go through just to uh, get some nice stuff up there. Once again, <laughs> you can just lower it. I, I, I tried to find ways of using the teleporter in sector, okay? <laughs> um... You can teleport anything I'm um, using armor and uh, an enemy as an example between two sectors that could be miles apart. Uh, I am also using switches, but you can also use line def walkovers or anything really to activate it. And if you have the line of here 
it would teleport you. So if you were followed by enemies and you triggered it, both you and the enemies would spawn or respawn somewhere else. Uh, you can teleport different things in between sec the same sector. You will need a tag for each of the items. And of course, the teleporter, which will teleport you if you are inside the sector. But if you forget or you hit this and jump out or just hit this switch instead, you will not be teleported because you are not inside the, uh, the sector. Uh, so let's uh, look at line def sector first. Action 78, teleport in sector. You need a sector tag, the sector 30 in this case. I add the things a bit out of order. Um, you will need a source tag, uh, which is a map. Uh, map thing. Oh, what's, this called? what's it called? Map spot. Right. And you will need teleport destination thing it needs to be a target teleport destination not um, uh, whatever it's called <laughs> I have a bad memory apparently today you can decide if teleporting has fog or not since this is sort of a an unusual teleporting thing, I usually have it off uh, in case of the uh, elevator. Of course, you are not really supposed to teleport. You're supposed to simulate taking an elev elevator to a lower floor. Um, Showing the fog would be a bit of a giveaway. If you have a zero in a group thing tag, it will teleport anything inside the sector. If you specify a specific tag, one is the tag of this armor. Only the armor would be teleported, but since doesn't really matter in this case just leave it at zero but if you want just as a specific thing to teleport you need to have tag for the thing to teleport uh, and it can be anything I haven't tested it with uh, obstacles and stuff but I'm sure anything can be yeah. so you need tag name tag number and you need um, map spot with a tag I'm going in sequence to make it easy for myself and you need a destination which has to be teleport destination also with a tag of number obviously um, if you are teleporting between two you will need a map spot and a teleporter destination on both sides Um, 
because and this is a script you have to reference both sides it doesn't matter if nothing's in there uh, the script will run nonetheless but uh, nothing will teleport obviously this I said a script for um, for the first one I'm sure there are different ways to doing this I I needed a script that could uh, work multiple times and this is the best one I could find for my needs I think I, I looked for some difference uh, of course the teleporting itself is is exactly the same you have a tag if you write uh, I'll, I'll just show you if you write teleport sector you add those remember to have that you will get a helpful um, hint about what to put in there you need a tag which in this case was one now this is done it's grayed out because we have placed something you need the source id i don't remember what it was but probably two you need the destination id probably three i can't see them right now fog zero or one depends on you and the group id if you like I said if you want to teleport one specific item inside the sector write in the tag ID of that specific thing 21 for instance that just a random number if it doesn't matter zero will teleport anything That's how you set up the teleport part. I'm not going to go through the rest of the script in any specific detail. They are googling it or zdooming it. You will find many examples of this. Set up a line def to number so I can switch between these two states teleporting right to left and left to right same here but here I have two separate scripts doing the same thing for two separate things because this teleport something with the tag of 12 and the other tag uh, teleports something with the tag of 11 but it's in it's an exact same thing I, I, ignore the rest of the script really this is just set up here for the um, tel uh, elevator I have set up more simple one-way script you can set up an elevator to go up and down but my head was spinning at this point so I just wanted to set this up to, <laughs> to show you um, I will uh, upload this script file so you can look at it and uh, expand upon it scripting is not my strong suit to be fair I did this all by myself I impress myself sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, to simulate an elevator, I lower floor and ceiling. 
and scroll texture because I couldn't find a way to let it scroll on its own. I'm sure I did something wrong again. Uh, wait, before teleporting into the next sector, making the other sector looking exactly like the one teleported from during the teleporting is really the biggest issue there. You might have noticed a bit of a hitch. I'm sure I could do it better. I'm lowering the other, so um, the other elevator, as it were, from a bit of a height so that you don't see this while you teleport in. But it's exactly the same uh, thing as this only it has some more moving parts that require a script uh, it's not that difficult in and of itself I don't think there's much to add you have to um, I'm sure there are more examples than I showed you. I think the um, elevator example is the more most interesting one. But how to set that up you can <laughs> find out for yourself. Or I might do a separate video on it. This video is covering teleport in sector, and I feel I have showed it to you. It's not that difficult. Just have your tongue in your mouth, or between your teeth, or whatever, <laughs> and uh, you can make it work. In the meantime, this has been your host. The lazy gamer logging off. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>